Welcome back, people. Oh, that was not my intention. <laughs> Alright, we are now 499. That is basically 500. That is like the mark I have set for myself where uh, where the early game is stopping and the middle game is beginning so that is a perfect opportunity for us to like evaluate our position to the current date and see if we eventually could make it to become as big as the Roman Empire was at the height of uh, Trajan, Trajan's reign, I think it was. Anyway, let's jump into this. What definitely could have been be could have been better would be like I would try have tried to take Macedon earlier. At least. Let's see. Uh, anyway, uh, this main Macedon area areas here. I would really love to take them ear earlier. In one game, I think I managed to take all of Greece, as well as Cisalpine Gaul and the islands here, by 500. I did not manage to take those this time however but I would have liked to have done that but Macedon ally with Phrygia and uh, yeah lots of cohorts and ships not something I really want to fight unless I absolutely have to so that's one part Go into Macedon earlier, I would have liked. Another thing is the first Punic War screwed up really bad. Without noticing, I declared with the wrong Casus Belli of taking Carthage instead of taking Sardinia, which meant that in order for me to actually gain any war score to do literally anything in that war I would have to take my fleet take my armies and land in Carthage and siege all of it down completely I would have most likely lost many ships and many men in trying to do that I had done so before and I learned the hard way so that is one thing. So if I had declared for the right uh, at the at the beginning, the second Punic War didn't have to be the one that we declared, really. It would have been much easier for us. And we could have done something else, like going into going into Greece, for example, in that time. Another thing which could have been better would be Cisalpine Gaul. We struggle with a rebellion. Pretty easy to take down, but it took took time, and there were, there were forts there, so we had to siege them down. Sorry about that. Um, yeah, so I have to try and stabilize this area better I suppose maybe I could have used provincial army when I only had these two or three I, I don't remember when I had them I could have perhaps used a provincial army just on this so this could have been had high stability by the point we conquered the rest would definitely have helped and also this part too didn't really help as much that it was low loyalty when we conquered them. If we had conquered them earlier as well, would have been nice. Uh, and also the Ligurian mission 
Ligurian mission completely failed it didn't work for some reason so Paradise definitely needs to fix that I know why it might have not so worked because it was when I improved relation with them it was just within their requirements and the next month that disappeared so it was kinda futile but still I managed to set the mission in action and that should have been enough really so the, the mission didn't work and uh, it made us some some problems we had we had to deal with not too much of a problem though but lots of little things comes to the big pic picture you know another thing we could have done would have been to take this law even earlier so that we could have fabricated claims even earlier which means that perhaps we could have when I took Seculia and Syracuse from all those miners, I could have had claims on more of, the, more of them, which would have resulted in taking less aggressive expansion, which would definitely help. We don't have too much now though, but we want to keep it as low as possible. It's not necessary to have it higher if we can easily avoid it. We could also have tried to cult we, we did actively culture convert Magna Greca, but we did not in the Etruscan and Umbrian lands. That is something we definitely could have done. I feel. Definitely, definitely. Let's see, another thing would be okay, in the very beginning we could have our consul leading our army so that whenever we took a city whenever we took a city like Aklium we would have get a um, sacking option and the money from the sacking would go directly to us that would have, been ha have helped massively Especially since generals kind of do that anyway. When you sack us, when you take over a city and you see it burn, that's when that particular general decided to to sack it or to loot it. Perhaps is a big is a better word. And another thing would be to again use some of that money we would gain from from the war. We would gain more. Would be to build a bigger navy even earlier. That would have helped a lot, I think. Because we screwed up against Macedon. Macedon wrecked our ships. And uh, perhaps we would have been even braver against Carthage. Maybe, maybe not. Did we conquer this? Yeah, we did. So yeah, that's some points to... It's good to evaluate this before continuing on so we know what to expect, what we could have done better. I think that is the right way to, do, right way to go. And also, the reason I decided to take some more feudatories over here, but not Genoa, is because Genoa, through a mission, we could make a city. If we had done it manually, we would have spent political influence. And we get even more armies than we would have gained if we annexed them ourselves. And another thing is that 
a few discoveries we have here, here in uh, Italy. But I think it goes to every one of our culture group, the Italic culture group, I think. Is that we have to integrate them all by 15. No, sorry, by 515. Because if not, we will get some. a few nasty events that is going to make them disloyal and, I don't know, perhaps make them break apart. I read a file, but not in detail. I only noticed it was nasty, and we're going to avoid that if we can. Which means that the next time we play, we will try to integrate this. We actually have started it. But we will also try to integrate these ones. Before we have 16 years on us to finish that. So I think that's good enough time. So yeah, I don't really know which direction we are going to attack in yet. I should have dissolved this alliance a long time ago. If I'd done that, I could have attacked through them. I could have attacked Magadon without getting Frigia into the war. That is something. But yeah, except for that, I'm not too sure which direction we are going to go with. Another car war of Carthage. Up here, perhaps. If we go up here, we're going to split the army in two. These ones are going to march up over in the west. And these ones is going to take the war in the east. Except for Macedon though. 20k. Depends on their allies, I suppose. So yeah, so that we can do war more efficiently. Now though we do have a lot of aggressive expansion, but as long as it does not reach 50, that's fine. But we do not want to reach 50, if possible. So yeah, that's it. I think the evaluation is done and Rome is looking good. We have lots of capital surplus bonuses. It's really 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 nice. So with that I suppose I will see you in the next episode and we will try to figure out which direction we are going to go with. Yeah, no truce. The truce of Cartage is soon done, so maybe Cartage? They, they are struggling a lot. Maybe? We'll see. So yeah, with that, I thank you for watching. And I hope to see you in the next episode. Bye bye.